Hi there, Aaron here from howtosing.com and I want to talk to you about how to sing from your diaphragm. Uh, what is a diaphragm, first of all? Diaphragm, it's, it's just below the ribs. It separates a lot of the, the intestines down here and what happens and with the rib cage down here. It, what happens um, with the diaphragm, you've heard a lot of, well, this whole thing, diaphragm breathing. How do you breathe from your diaphragm, sing from your diaphragm? Um, the diaphragm, you don't actually, it doesn't intake any air. I, your stomach doesn't intake any air, so I'm going to talk a little bit about expanding the stomach and stuff like that. The only thing that actually takes air in is your lungs. But what happens with the diaphragm, um, when you have proper posture, and I'll talk a little bit about that, is that the diaphragm, it um, descends and opens up the cavity there to where your lungs could expand, pushes the intestines out of the way, to where your lungs can expand to get um, the, the air that you need. See, what we typically do um, throughout the day, singing for, or singing, breathing for singing and breathing for speaking, are different. That's why people are like, I know how to breathe. I, you know, I don't need to learn to breathe to sing. I learn. I breathe every day. How do you think I'm alive? Breathing for singing and breathing for speaking are usually um, opposite. And I won't totally get into it except to say that mostly we take kind of shallow breaths, and our shallow breaths are kind of like a the raising of the chest and chest lowers like that. And real, I mean, it's more subtle than that. But um, the way that the way that we're supposed to breathe is is the chest chest stays how it is it doesn't raise it doesn't raise and lower but when you breathe in the expanding is happening you know on the sides here below the ribs and in the stomach and then when you breathe out again the chest should remain where it is and then what comes in is not the chest doesn't fall the chest should stay up but what comes in is the stomach and the sides of the ribs. That's what it is basically belly breathing or belly breathing, diaphragm breathing is um, when you have proper posture, the alignment of your head, neck, and shoulders, and then you take that, take a nice complete breath, not the short breaths that, like I'm talking about, that chest breathing, not the that kind of breathing, but take a nice, nice breath for singing and you'll expand in your stomach and in your sides and that will cause the, like I said, the diaphragm to descend. And as long as you keep your, if you keep your chest up rather than while you're singing, let it go let it cave down, then the diaphragm will stay ascended for, for as long as you need it to. Once your chest kind of caves in, then the diaphragm comes back up. So the idea is to remain in your proper posture, keep your chest up, not like super high, but you need to keep your chest relatively high, good posture, arms, you know, relatively along your side. I know when you're singing, sometimes you'll be walking around and moving around, but this is just basic structure should be somewhere around here. Uh, when we're, oh, but you don't want to, you want to take a complete breath, not these short breaths, but you don't want to, you don't want to tank up, you know, you don't want to get as much air as you can possibly get. Singing doesn't take a ton of air. You just need a good complete breath and, and, you know, it comes out, it's paced as it comes out. Um, when we're babies, we actually breathe correctly. If you watch a baby breathe, they, their chest, their stomach expands when they breathe in and it contracts when they breathe out. But somewhere along the way, we get this kind of chest breathing, short breath breathing, but um, we need to reverse that. So I want to give you an exercise, a couple of exercises. One is actually like a vocal exercise that'll help you with your breathing, help you with your diaphragm breathing, and help you connect your breath how you, how you need to with diaphragm breathing. But the first one is just how to um, how to get the get that down to where you are expanding when you when you inhale if you lay down laying down is a really good way to do it or just or bending at the way so you can it also do it when you stand up but breathe in and you could feel the sides of your stomach expand and when you breathe out feel it contract out and you want to get in the habit of doing that if you notice that that's that's probably not what you do that's not what most people do even though that's that's proper for singing um, one way to do that is um, th those exercises laying on the ground and filling that and get um, filling it, expand and contract is a good way to kind of get get in the habit of doing it. And then I've got an exercise too. This is basically takes the vowels and puts an H in front of them. So it's hey, he, hi, ho, who. Hey, he, hi, ho, who. And basically you want to do, um, you can do that a few times, maybe 30 seconds a day just to connect your breath with your with your um, with your singing hey he hi ho who and make sure that you're doing all the stuff that I'm saying you're expanding when you're breathing in and you're contracting when you're breathing out so anyway give that a try hopefully that helps um, connect your your breathing with your singing because breathing proper breathing and breathing from your diaphragm really is 
probably the most important thing when it comes to singing because everything else is based on that. All of singing, all of all the scales and singing higher notes and agility, everything that comes along with singing is based on a proper breath management system, which is basically breathing from your diaphragm. So I hope that's helpful. Um, if you want to visit me, like I said, I'm at howtosing.com. You can just um, type that in, come check me out, or, or down actually below there's a link just below here. You can click on that. I've got a bunch of like tips and tricks and a lot of great information. I just put a video up actually about how to, it's a good long video with good content about how to sing high notes, but how to sing high notes specifically with um, without tension, which is usually the problem when you get high notes, your larynx raises up and you start getting tense. But anyway, um, check it out at howtosing.com and I'll see you there.